all animals are perfectly adapted to their environment, calculating every movement in the blink of an eye, almost subconsciously, because for them it can be a matter of life or death. They live in a natural balance of nature, only taking what they need and leaving nothing behind that natural forces can't deal with easily. If anything, they maintain the natural balance that allows life to flourish on this planet. No matter how big or small, they all play an important and delicate part in this world. Humans adore and admire all life for its beauty, its tranquility and its freedom. Freedom to move in its own unique and astonishing ways. People copy their movements for anything from martial arts to snowboarding, tiger farm and falling leaf. But these are competitive or recreational sports that only a few participate in. Animals move because their lives depend on it, to catch food, to escape from predators, to migrate to seasons, etc. Essentially, it's their lifestyle that keeps them fit and healthy, but also keeps the population at a stable level. It's mainly human interference that disrupts nature's ways, its beauty, and the life that makes it. Why? For us, so we can live, live easily and comfortably, without having to move to catch our food, escape from furnaces, or even to migrate for seasons. Humans have adapted their environment to best suit them and their needs. This greatly reduces the area's biodiversity and allows humans to become lazy and fixated with luxuries, pleasure and technology. As we become more and more dependent on the technology to move, to achieve and to explore, our bodies suffer from a lack of movement, vehicles, transport and in fact almost anything man-made uses up natural resources and pollutes the planet. Most of the time, we don't even use transport efficiently, or recycle our waste, or even consider the effects of urbanisation, deforestation, or farm. Ha! <laughs> Sorry, won't do. As the human population increases at a substantial rate, we build more and more homes, destroying anything in our path just to accommodate us. More people means we will need more food, therefore we will build more farms, destroying more land, habitats and environments. We will drive more cars and pollute the earth more. We will just keep on going. and going. And going. And going. And going. So we've used up everything.
do that. I want more fun. Hey, Sawji, I want you to, you're, you're stuck in something pure, right? Mm.